Hello friends, this is Pastor Artur Pralowski. This is Tampa, Florida. As you can see, they just threw me into a swimming pool. No, oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, for a Canadian living in Siberia, Calgary, Alberta, for me, this is extremely hot. Uh, but I'm still alive and look who I have next to me. Hi guys. <laughs> Two cowboys. Oh yeah, I'm a cowboy, and I got Pastor Arthur's back because we are definitely praying for you guys in Canada. I'm making sure that the word gets out. We're gonna come up north. We're gonna free you. <laughs> you see, friends, Americans are coming. The eagles are coming. The lions, American lions, are coming to rescue us uh, in uh, Canada. Right now, the Prime Minister and the Premier, uh, this is the message they send. They don't want Americans to come. They don't want American tourists to come. I mean, you thought that you have allies. You thought that your neighbors love you. But that's not the case with Canadian Prime Minister. He hates America. He hates freedom. He loves Chinese government. He loves dictatorship. He loves tyranny. America, rise up, stand up, be careful, because your neighbors are going crazy, and there's nothing worse than to have a neighbor that wants to stab you in the back. So I'm enjoying my time here. I talked to my wife, and she said that it's better for me to stay here in the United States because I might be arrested at the airport the moment I arrived, so here I am enjoying my enjoying my swimming. <laughs> um, it's right now, uh, it's uh, wow. It's hot. It's it is, hot. It's hot. It's hot even for you. No, DC. Yeah, DC. Look, DC look. is way cooler. I'm not the only one. It's hot for him too. Look, and he is American. Look, see, uh, yeah, yeah. Florida is sticky out here. I didn't see any gators or anything, but I did see Pastor Arthur, so it's a good day. There you go. At least one person likes me ah! <laughs> my brother that's it that's a good thing that, he's low he's low and uh we have to stand up for him. american eagles american lions what you, what do you have to say what is your message to canada we got you we got you we love you Male and female. Yes. You can do uh, it. You can do it. Male and female. That's biology 101 that uh, so many people have forgotten. God bless America. You can do it. I not only, I not only like you Americans. I like your palms as well. Repent now, Trudeau. In Calgary, we got pine trees. Happy birthday to Debbie! Happy birthday to Debbie! You see, that's that's what freedom looks like. That's what freedom feels like. Besides the swimming pool. And we need this in Canada. In the national anthem, Canadian anthem, it says, God, God, keep our land glorious and free. You want your country glorious? You need God. You want your country free? You need your God. It starts with God and ends with God. And between there is, there is a lot of dust. That's you and me. But it starts with him and ends with him. Let's keep it that way. In the preamble to the Canadian Constitution, it says, Where is Canada? Acknowledges the supremacy of God and the rule of law. If there is no God, there is no rule of law. Let's bring the Ten Commandments back to our judi judicial centers. Let's bring God back into our society, into our schools, into our political arena. Let's bring back the prayers. Giving honor to the one that created this amazing beautiful nation Amen. and his crown of creation you and me be blessed Arthur let me jump in let me jump okay. in okay let him jump I in do this. let me jump in support arthur
support him. He's not asking for support, so I'm going to say it for him. Send money his way. Support the brother in Christ. Don't forget, it takes finances to support this man. Support him financially. Support him in prayer. Of course, prayer is the most important, but he needs finances to keep up the fight. Support Arthur. I had to do that for you, Arthur. I had you know, I want to add something. I feel, I feel humbled. I would never imagine that me just doing my job as a shepherd, telling the wolves to get out. It's going to bring such attention. I did it because that's what my God was telling me to do. Get out. Let my people go so they can worship me, him, in heaven. So I'm greatly humbled. The support is amazing. We got invitations for the next 150 years right here in the United States of America alone. So I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I know that God knows. And uh, the, the number one thing I want to say to you is this. Greater is he that is in us than the one that is in them. Hyenas will fall. Lions never ever bow before the hyenas. We know how the story ends. We win. Be blessed.